welcome to another cook along. Today I'm going to show you how to pop a, a lovely joint of OSB hand of pork in the slow cooker with some lovely fresh ingredients and make a delicious slow cooked pork joint. So um, first of all I'm going to start with the vegetables. So I've got an onion here, some garlic, a, a piece of celery, a stick of celery, a couple of carrots and an apple. So just going to roughly chop up these and pop them in the uh, crock pot of the slow cooker. Doesn't matter which order you do them in because they'll sort of cook down to almost nothing but impart lots of flavour to the meat. So uh, skin off here which I'll uh, make into crackling a bit later on and uh, this is the hand of pork which is now going to go in the slow cooker on top of the vegetables that I've put in there already and I'm going to pour on some cider and salt and pepper and bay leaves. So I've just giving my hands a quick rinse. So here we have some very nice thatchers, vintage cider. Don't worry, I'm not going to use it all. Chef's prerogative. Um, a few bay leaves, just for some flavour. Added flavour. There's the cider going on. I've got some coarse sea salt, black pepper, and a stock cube which I will add a bit later. But for now, I'm just going to pop the lid on and put it on high. Helps if I pour it in. And I will revisit this in about three hours time uh, to turn over the meat and add the stock cube. So here we have the skin of the hand of pork which I took off before I put that in the slow cooker. So I've left it out to kind of dry off a little bit um, and now I'm going to put some sea salt over it. Plenty of sea salt, don't freak out guys. And black pepper and a little drizzle of olive oil and it's going in the oven at about 200 degrees and I'll do that on fan for half an hour and have a look at and see how it is and we'll take some pictures as an update. Ignore the clock behind, it doesn't work sadly but We've had six and a half hours of the slow cooked pork and here it is now. It's all unctuous and fallen off just like pulled pork but with a delicious gravy sauce there. And I'm going to serve that with lovely mashed potato. And the crackling is not quite ready so that will be served a bit later. of your OSB leftovers. If you've done the slow cooked pork belly like we have, uh, another great meal is to make it into a bolognese. So what I've done is put some olive oil in a pan, heated it up and tipped in the remaining pork and vegetables from that slow cooked pork belly dish and got it all up to temperature there. And now I'm going to add a tin of chopped tomatoes into the mix. So I'm doing a single hand mix there. I'll add some herbs, salt and pepper to taste, and a bit of tomato puree. And then I shall 
Boil some pasta, mix it in with some lovely parmesan on top. So I'll let that bubble and add the herbs now and do a quick photo shot of, of that bubbling down nicely. Here's the finished article, so nothing's wasted from that beautiful piece of belly pork that we slow cooked on Wednesday. And it's Saturday night and we have a lovely bolognese style sauce with spaghetti uh, and parmesan cheese. Thank you.